You're listening to Israel's number one podcast. Podcast to the crap monster. <laughs> I'm pissed. Yep. I'm fucking There's pissed. You look like in shit today. in that thing, dude. I don't you look, look like, like shit. You look terrible. I look you good. You can't. You don't look good. Yeah, you're I look stealing, good. You're stealing my fang and my I fang. Just so much. And you look terrible. That's I look you, good. A, a, a cowboy doesn't burp. Cowboy ha- Excuse me, ma'am. I, my apologies. So, Patrick, so when Patrick joined the Zoom call, he had a cowboy hat on. Mm-hmm. When Caleb, and only, was, Caleb was not able to find one. I only guess wherever, because where he usually goes I thought, to find costumes. <laughs> they, I don't know how you didn't find one. In but. my closet. I well last oh, night I tried to find where one. All the other costumes came from too. Yes, I tried is to find. I mean, look eventually, it? yeah, I tried to find one last night on Amazon that had one day shipping and it was <laughs> unavailable. So I was, I was fucking. You know, I can't leave. I can't, I'm a victim. I can't leave my <laughs> apartment right now. I can't. I haven't been able to shop for costumes. There's a lot of ways that COVID is affecting the American people. Where people can't look for different hats well, you've or given costumes. Out, you've given out your address, right? Somebody could just come give me a. If you a know hat. where Caleb lives, um, can you, we need you to Drop deliver costumes hat. to yeah, him. Yeah, outside the front door. Just leave it out front. You throw some groceries in the hat, like a bag, and mm-hmm. then I save me another fucking thing I have to do. Oh, yeah. man. Just My, fuck, just make it happen, dude. I, I should be wearing. You, can you imagine how good and evil I would look with that hat on? Evil. You look like shit. You would not are, look are you, evil with a cowboy hat dude, on. Dude, I would look like the baddest. I'd look like the bat, the evil cow, the cow man, the cow evil man. You'd look like shit <laughs> compared to how I look right now. You look. You're wearing a Rod Stewart hat underneath the cowboy hat. This is not. Well, it won't fit over the headphones, and I'm not. My head's too sweaty. I hate you, dude. Because I was skating 15 minutes ago. Fuck you, man. No, you fuck like you. No, fuck you. Look you. Like fucking shit. You look like shit. Okay, well, I don't even. I just. You look I, sick. I, I don't look sick. I'm normal. <laughs> I don't look sick. You look so sick, dude. Mm-hmm. I don't look sick. Yeah. No. You. I'm not, you. Your sick. head and your shirt and your your wall are all the same color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's cream. It's a beautiful neutral color. <laughs> allows for a lot of interior design choices. You know, I can I can have a loud. Uh, you uh, look duvet like cover. Hey, you look hey, like Caleb, Lobot you, right now. Hey Caleb, if you put on if you put on that cowboy hat, you'd look more like broke ass mountain. If you know Yo, what I'm saying. <laughs> broke boy mountain. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gonna cry? Oh, he's crying. Oh, he's crying. He's pretending to have. He's pretending to have chew. He's pretending to have chewing tobacco in his lip right now. I will say it's even more disrespectful that Patrick isn't even wearing the hat. He just I'm put wearing it on the t- hat. You're wearing a hat and then headphones over the hat and then you put the cowboy hat over both of those. That doesn't count as wearing a thing. The third thing on your head you're not wearing. Okay, there we go. Now you... put the <laughs> now put the headphones on over the hat, over the cowboy hat. <laughs> How's this? That's a really good look. I can't hear. Caleb, <laughs> I can't you can hear u- most of this. <laughs> you can usually make yourself cry faster Here, I'll than just, this. What's going go. on, pal? Are you too happy today? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I've lost my ability, dude. I'm, I'm having too much fun. Except I just remembered that Pat has a fucking cowboy hat on, and I don't. My head's cold. Everything sucks, dude. Fuck. I'm fine. I'm doing great. I got you a cowboy like hat. shit. I look good. Oh, I hate man. you! Check this out. <laughs> Cowboys didn't have glasses! Stop! I don't Cow- know where my other glasses are. That technology wasn't around. Cowboys, Did some... It? There were prospectors with you glasses. You couldn't be a cowboy without Pro- perfect vision. Shut the fuck up. You could. No, and even if you didn't, you wouldn't wear glasses because you're a cowboy. You don't have to read anything. You have to read directions. You have to, yeah, you have to read when it's the wanted <laughs> get posters. Directions. They just guessed. They had to read what the do you wanted mean posters. They, just guessed? they would get you have the to, wrong you have guy to read a the lot. poster and see if it was dead or alive, or exactly. if it's dead or a if it's alive. A real cowboy didn't care. <laughs> I'm a real cowboy. You're not. I am. I'm no. a real cowboy too. God damn it! This no. is so. I gotta get different. Yeah, headphones. you're you're a cowboy because you're half cow, half boy. So, I still have the hat. Mm, fuck you. 
That's right. <laughs> That's a good point. There were no mm-hmm. bald cowboys also, I have to yeah. say. There was like a hundred of them. Zero bald cowboys. They were a gang. They were no. called the they were called the bald bandits. <laughs> there was no such thing as the bald bandits. They were called the bald bandits. The bald and they bandits were, no. did not exist. Snow the bald No, <laughs> no, no there's not. There was a group of of bandits named the bald bandits. Mixed truth. There was a group of bandits, but they weren't bald, and they weren't <laughs> no. called the bald bandits. Snopes is not. You're not Snopes, dude. Stop talking like you're Snopes. The bald bandits. I'm Snopes. Um, the bald bandits had a movie. Uh, written by D.W. Griffith about them. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Caleb's a member of a different modern-day bald yeah. band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I see how this episode's going to yeah. go now. These yeah. bald mm-hmm. bandits hated the hair on their body so much that they would wear white, sleek sheets to cover them up. Yeah, dude. So nobody knows you're bald. <laughs> you know? There's definitely never been, like, a hot KKK guy, because why would you cover that face up? That's why I could never join the KKK. Too beautiful. I did take the cowboy hat off. That's why they started started cutting eye holes in there, because some of them had pretty eyes. Mm -hmm. Before that, they were all just bumping into each other. That's a good point. Yeah. It's true, too. Snopes says so. Stop. You don't know Snopes, okay? I think Snopes Cameron, like, Cameron knows Snopes. Snopes is like Snopes. a Banksy or Q type figure. When you get nobody the, knows who he is. When you get the vaccine, it downloads all of Snopes' knowledge base into your brain mm-hmm. through microchip. <laughs> that, yeah, that and you walk be around so saying, surprising to me, I guess. "Well, Biden did say that about black youth. He didn't mean it quite in that way." That phrase is just preloaded into your head. He was being sarcastic. <laughs> mm-hmm. He was being silly. <laughs> yeah, there was no Snopes, man yeah. named Corn Pop. <laughs> While Biden's mouth did move to form those words, there was a racist guy behind him actually saying them. <laughs> he was being puppeted by Jeff Dunham. <laughs> <laughs> he was doing Bubba J. <laughs> yeah, the J in Bubba J stands for Joe Biden. <laughs> Bubba Joe. Bubba Joe Biden. <laughs> um, Joe Biden is the is the old man. What's his name? Far Walter. <laughs> Fart Walter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fart Walter. Fart yeah, no, Walter. that's that's definitely that's the the real uh, Joe Biden dude. Mm-hmm. He's he's Walter for sure. Yeah. Well, he hates Priuses. He's a total Walter. Yeah, Priuses. Mm-hmm. He hates Priuses and phones and mm-hmm. Blackberries and Bluetooths. All this modern crap, dude. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened to the newspaper? Yeah. Right. Whatever you happened to, to you used to, to call your friends on the newspaper back in the day. Mm-hmm. You used to send your friend. You used to take out an ad in the newspaper that said, "Hey Jim, do hey, you want to hang out with me <laughs> yeah. on Saturday, March 8th? That's how you would communicate back in the day. You, you would fucking yeah. You'd send a. You, you'd wait for the Sunday paper to come out. You know, mm-hmm. and you'd yeah. kill somebody who had the name of whatever message you wanted to send to your friends so that they caught it in the obits. You know. Yeah, and but, that was, but Biden, that's sir, the, there still are newspapers. I mean, there's a huge pile of them outside your house. Aren't you going to go get them? Man, I miss indentured servants. <laughs> 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 Nowadays, everything is so tough. You've got to uh, do everything yourself, dude. Man, I'm, si- I'm, just, life. I'm just sitting in sweat right now. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. You're in a Korean bathhouse. I am. With you your know, 50 best I'm friends. I'm in a spa Oh yeah, no. I got the I got the vax I got the vax appointment coming dude, up. Finally, I can go back to bathhouses. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can't wait. Oh, I'm dude, so excited. I, I'm so excited to go back to the cold sauna. Mm-hmm. I just can't wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the cold sauna that they have in every the restaurant. Cold sa- the cold sauna is room temperature. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm I'm excited to go back to the bathhouses, the costume shops. They've been missing mm-hmm. me. They they, they might be out of business. <laughs> <laughs> they might have been run out of business because I'm locked inside. Yeah, everybody yeah. who buys costumes there now is like, where's that, that funny smell? And they're like, oh, that guy used to try on every single costume in the store. is <laughs> allowed to come in anymore. I need to see if it fits, dude. I'm a 31 waist. A lot of these costumes made for a much bigger man. Yeah, mm-hmm. all the customers True. miss the, the way that your shoulders would, would stretch out the, the suits into like sharp points somehow. Mm-hmm. It's because I'm yeah, you look so, like the so Death buff, Note dude. guy. It's called having high T. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If yeah. you're the highest T, people have the have just pointy like angles all over their bodies. <laughs> They're like, know? is this a is this a is this a sailor outfit for a Tim Burton character? What is it? What's the <laughs> geometry going on here? I don't understand this. When it's on me, Tim Burton. Where are Popeye. all the wigs? 
They're all the gone. Wig. He bought I, them all. I don't wear wigs. I only you have definitely one wig wear and wigs. You should. Oh man, you should. You get definitely a wig. when it when the camera's off, you absolutely are wearing a wig. The camera. You, what camera? You should totally get a wig. <laughs> I put wigs when the cameras are on, buddy. We should get. Oh, we should get Caleb like a really like. We should buy. You know him, what? Like, you know what's funny? We should get you like a wig tree, like a hat yeah. tree to put in your house, <laughs> but just with a ton of wigs, like super ornate. <laughs> You remember uh, when that fucking uh, the I heart eating shit thing went like the I heart eating shit tweet went viral. A bunch of people thought that Caleb was um, Trixie Mattel. Yeah, Trixie dude. Mattel. <laughs> that's what I yeah. found out. <laughs> that's for real. Yeah, yeah, that's what I found out that I would be a perfect drag queen. Yeah, yeah. If I was like, if I was like one percent more that. gay, that I, w- I would make so much more money oh doing my that God, than fucking dude. podcasting, dude. I was like, and then I, it made sense. I was like, yeah, dude. What, a, of course. a mannequin is a blank slate. Yeah. <laughs> that, I would be so good as a dude. fucking drag queen. I would be like one of the best you'd ever. You'd be dude. like, you'd be so mean too. Oh, dude, yeah. I'd, be a, yeah. I'd be a bitch. You yeah. get to wear platform <laughs> shoes and finally hit 5'6", dude. It'd be great for you. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, I'm not sure. You know, I was having fun for like one second on this episode, and then you had to take it back and make, fucking make it. You wouldn't even have to wear makeup, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your face so naturally I'm going to start beautiful. doing this when, you, when you're mean to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, dude. If I was a cowboy right now, you would not be saying that shit to me, because I'd have a six-shooter pointed at your brain. I've been spitting in my spittoon this whole episode. Are you don't jealous? have a spittoon, either. Sh- yeah, if do. you have a spittoon, show Look it to me. And you can't is. use your foreskin as a spittoon. Then what the fuck? I can't? Dude, no, I feel... Dude. <laughs> no. Why not? Just empty it out right now. Drain no, it. no. I'm calling Dr. Pimple Popper to come You're, drain oh, your no. foreskin spittoon She's right now, gonna, dude. Nuh-uh. She's, She's gonna get all Dr. up in that Pimple shit. Pimple She's not opening up my squatoon. 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 Fuck. She's not gonna <laughs> drain your squatoon that you've been squatoon. We can't do squatoon again. That's lost to time forever. Uh, until, unless it's found. I was unless trying I to bring it up. You can't bring it up. You fucking I was a lost, trying to- a lost, a lost bit because I think that was a time then Patrick died mid recording or something. Yeah, we had a really good thing about Squirtoons, but you're just gonna have to imagine what that is unless I find the file and put it at the end of this episode. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Pat, you you low down son of a bitch. If you put that cowboy hat on your head one more time, I'm putting a damn bounty on your head. All right, five dollars, <laughs> dead or alive, come get me. Green light. Come get me. I live... <laughs> there's, a, there's a green light on Patrick. No, yeah. there's not. Like, like in John light. Wick 2 when everyone's trying to get him. Mm-hmm. Or is that John Wick 3? That is That's John right Wick now. 4. That's right now. That's Caleb Pitts 1 because I'm fucking calling out the Bloods and the Crips and the Woo Gang on you right now the and Woo the Cowboys. Gang. Woo! <laughs> what? <laughs> the Woo Gang. Who's that? It's like a New York gang Dude, the, that I learned the, about. The Wu Tang Clan? No, well, no, the the, no, dude, the violence Wu-Gang. has been the violence has been so bad lately between the Bloods and the Crips and the Cowboys. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't want to walk. You don't want to walk through that neighborhood. That's cowboy country. That's cowboy country. <laughs> Soon as you yeah, see oh, tumbleweeds, you, you're wearing a red yeah. bandana. <laughs> no, no way. You just see like a bike lane, like yeah. the bike symbol turned into a horse, like <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't, don't fucking stop yeah, at the train tracks, bro. You might get run up on. <laughs> might get tied up. Whatever you might do, get... do not do. Do not walk through through the cowboy neighborhood wearing stripes and a mm-hmm. black beanie. They're gonna <laughs> they're gonna lasso you <laughs> and bring you to the sheriff. <laughs> yeah, who do you think is more dangerous, MS thirteen or the cowboy gang? <laughs> I it's don't. Got to be close, right? Yeah. That's yeah. like a deadly, uh, yeah, deadliest warrior episode. <laughs> that is like one hundred percent an episode Definitely. of deadliest warrior. MS thirteen yeah. versus, versus cowboy. one cowboy. Yeah, no, it's a cowboy gang, dude. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Well, wouldn't it be a bandit? No, that's different. It's not a bandit. A dude. cowboy is a good guy, or like yeah. a like a neutral guy. Cowboy bandit's a bad guy. Cowboy's pure neutral. He yeah. goes where the money is. Well, he's like he's like neutral good, like good. He's it depends, you know. Uh, sometimes he saves people, but sometimes he gets nasty with it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> when my oh man, the cowboy gets nasty with it. Oh, disgusting. you don't want to be around when he's when he's <laughs> when he's twirling that lasso around. You don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Whoo. 
We need to get these lassos. Yeah, hey man, off you when a, <laughs> when, a, when a cowboy is feeling nasty, you you want to stay at least a hundred feet away because because to a nasty cowboy, every open mouth looks like a spittoon. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go make a movie where I go into the the cowboy country and I fix yeah. it up, dude. Yeah, white savior for the cowboys. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of it, dude. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that gunpowder off of the streets and the fucking the snake of oil. dynamite. Yeah, the, the, the sticks, sticks of dynamite. dynamite. Yeah. The snake oil. Yeah, the... I, yeah. <laughs> my son comes home like late at night and a stick of dynamite falls out of his pants. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what the. F- where have you been? What the fuck is that? Yeah, have I, you been my... he- messing around with those damn cowboys again? <laughs> my son comes home wearing a Lone Ranger mask. <laughs> he has to take it off before he comes in the door. But dad, I want to be a cowboy. No fucking son of mine's gonna be a cowboy. <laughs> yeah, you're like giving like like your uh like your or your kid gives you money to like buy him something at like the grocery store, and you like bite into it and it <laughs> and it <bends. Yeah. laughs> I told you not to hang out with them. <laughs> you like yeah you wake up when you hear your kid coming into the house and you hear the the telltale like click and jangle of spurs on yeah. boots <laughs> going walking down the hall to his room <laughs> you find chaps in the laundry yeah <laughs> i just walk it i walk in the living room just throw them on them tell me yeah. what that is explain <laughs> to me what the fuck that is Barging into his room like, a where's the ass on these pants? <laughs> <laughs> where's the fucking ass on these? I'm sewing an ass on right now. <laughs> no, Dad, no. <laughs> it smells like horses in here. <laughs> I'm gonna sew. If, if you sew an ass, everyone's gonna make fun of me. And then the next day at cowboy school, he walks in. Uh, you got an ass on your pants? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Oh fuck! I hate my cowboy son. Oh man, yeah. he's don't the even worst. get me started. Don't even get me started on my cowboy kid. My my kid, the kid, oh, kid, the kid. I hate kid my kid. cowboy kid, kid Trevor. Kid. Trevor the kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that we're going full cowboy this episode. Mm-hmm. We have a cowboy list, and we're just just intro it's part like, all cowboy. Yeah. No, I don't have time for anything else anymore, dude. Exactly. It's what I'm this focused a- on. I'm, I'm now I have a goal to be a better cowboy than Pat because he decided to fucking steal my shit. You know Fucker. what? First come, first serve. That's what I say about yeah, I'm this. I'm gonna fucking first That's what come the cowboy on you said too. Yep. Serve it to you. You're not gonna serve anything to me. I'm gonna come on you and then serve my come back to you. <laughs> How? How would you off. do that? Scrape it off, make a demi glaze, fucking yeah. serve my come back to you, nasty bitch. Have you been reading that book I sent you? <laughs> no. The come recipes. What? What? Oh no, that hasn't been delivered. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't actually buy. It. I do have a. I do have a surprise coming for Caleb. I did buy him something. <laughs> Please don't be a gun or a bomb. <clears throat> Who knows? I mean, don't if he mails you knows. a gun, that's that's. A- good for you not yeah. for him right like you use that <laughs> right. against him well no it's think... a, he opens the package and then the gun shoots him. <laughs> yeah the gun he, he, <laughs> he opens the package style <laughs> yeah. trap but he's he, fa- he accidentally faces the package the wrong way so the gun shoots out the window and kills patrick who's watching with binoculars <laughs> yes <laughs> it's a bear at 50 cal <laughs> yes dude <laughs> oh i just thought of something okay here's a this is you can imagine this like somebody writing this article and posting it on twitter okay Mm-hmm. Okay. Here's why the Roadrunner was the best cowboy of all time. Whoa. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's don't true. have anything else for that. I just thought of that. Uh, I guess he didn't capture anyone, though. I would say Wiley Coyote is closer to a cowboy. Well, no, he's more of like a... Wiley Coyote's a bandit through yeah. and through. A, uh, he has... No, no. He's, he's, he's not like dastardly, though. I think Who? Wiley Coyote would Wiley probably... Wiley Coyote's definitely dastardly. I think he... now that Pat has decided to be the cowboy, I may have to become dastardly pretty soon here. Yeah? Yep. You're going to wear, like, a top hat and tie a woman to the train tracks that I save? I may have to become very dastardly sooner than you might think. Dick dastardly? No. You could be like him. You could drive a car with your little dog. No. You're, you're, you're chick dastardly, girl. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Fucking sexy Nothing girl. wrong with that. <laughs> Fuck you. 
That's right. Patrick, he's a cowboy. Patrick I, learned a new defense strategy mm-hmm. against insults. I'm completely yep. neutered right now. Yep, that's Fuck. right. Fuck. You fucking bitch. Yeah, why would I be ashamed of that? <laughs> <laughs> you gay. Why would I be ashamed of that? You're a, you're an ass. So? <laughs> it's an important part of the body. Your balls are smalls. Yeah, that's fine. More room in my pants. You, you're a human bathroom. Yeah, okay. It's the most important room in the house, besides the kitchen. <laughs> you're a human kitchen... Or, no. You're a shit sandwich on a fuck burger. All right, gotta feed people. You're a whole fart. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna sip you. Source of energy. I'm gonna drink you up. Yeah, okay, good. I'll hydrate you. I'm gonna... <laughs> How long will this go on? I'm going to tear your breasts to... off. That's fine. Why would I be ashamed of that? Be ashamed of what? I just said I'm going to fucking kill you. That's fine. I'll, I'll, you'll feel fulfilled. From kids? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. You'll have a goal. You'll set out. You'll set your goal, and then you'll complete your goal. I think you lost the plot on this one. Yeah, you're, dude. You're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, all right, I'm the I'm 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 red thundered up. Yeah, I'm ready to do some cowboy insults. Too. I drank uh I drank a Red Bull earlier. Yeah, the competitor. Yeah. I drank a beautiful glass of water. Mm-hmm. I was That's in the us. I was in the park earlier. I was at Maria Hernandez. I was skating, and some dude came up to me, and he was like, "Yo, you think I got front 180 first try?" I was like, "Yeah, sure, man." Go ahead, and I like gave him my board, and he handed me his like phone, his sandwich, his drink, his wallet. <laughs> I think you robbed him, dude. Actually, I think you just—that's an exchange. And then he like he kept making like excuses as to why he didn't want to do the front one eighty, and he was like, "Shit, my grandma just died." <laughs> and, like, he's, like, yeah, he just kept talking to me like about, about his shit. life. Yeah, about his life, and then he was like. Man, you guys are too much here skating that ledge. And he's like, "All right, fine." Then he finally did it and just like fucked it up. <laughs> so you robbed you a guy and then he couldn't even do a trick. Well, I, that's I gave... actually a good motivator, though. Is if you if you're like, "Here, right. take all my shit. Don't give it back unless I land." This. Well, I dropped his phone. Yeah. I dropped his phone, and then he was like, "You dropped his phone." Yeah, I dropped. He Why? like handed. It, he had his phone inside of his wallet. Oh. And then he handed it to me, and then I dropped the phone. I was like, oh, shit, sorry, man. He's like, no, that's fine. It doesn't even work anyway. It's <laughs> like, man, what the fuck? Well, you, you bring it around you places guys are so you, too can, much. you can spy yeah. on people. You hold yeah. the phone to your face and make it look like you're doing something. Mm-hmm. And then you can listen in. That was a, you, know? you know who that was, Patrick? Who was that? That was Batman. Whoa. And he had a tracking device in that wallet. If you had taken off, he would have fucked you up. Batman just well, baiting good. people to do crimes. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't. This has like a fucking fishing pole with a woman's <laughs> purse on it. <laughs> just waiting to beat some guy up. They, he Come does on, do that, it. dude. He always shows up there like he shows like some guy will kill someone and then he shows up and he's like, I, I now I can get you, you know? Yeah. Just kill them kill everybody right away. Hey, everybody, everybody, hold, funny. hold this dollar. In a Got yeah. your ass, you're dead. In Batman Returns, I watched that the other day. He just, like, Tim Burton just didn't, he just, Batman straight up kills dudes in that movie. He kills That's people sick, in the dude. Snyder Cut, dude. It's so sick. Yeah. Everyone, like, everyone lo- is always like, like, the, like once a week there's the tweet that's like, um, Batman was really rich, but instead of using that money to invent socialism, he actually beat up an evil clown and saved the city. Yeah. So he's a bit of a fascist, I think. But yeah. every, yeah. The, the fucking also, like, Batman, like come on, guys. It's so the, annoying. The, his parents died. He's allowed to like beat up right. a schizophrenic also, guy if he wants to. If That's I fine. was rich, I'd be just so much worse. Oh yeah, I'd be a full w- serial killer if I was yeah. rich. <laughs> I'd be completely. I would be as evil and and uh, I would kill as many people as possible <laughs> before they stop me. I would have like a chain of H. H. Holmes style like hotels all around the country <laughs> yeah. where I'm just fucking farming poor people. <laughs> Just turn their bones into fucking gelatin. Yeah, that was get, like, uh, 
It's like when you make that like villager thing in Minecraft, like the villager. Farm. Yeah, you yeah, just, exactly. yeah, exactly. You just fucking burn them. Like I, just, I mean, I it's would just, just it's just a McDonald's like meatpacking plant. And I'd shit. be passionate, just... and I'd be involved, like the Chipotle CEO. I'd be stopping <laughs> by all the different chains, mm-hmm. just making sure they have the right fucking they're hitting yeah. their blood quota and shit. <laughs> taking <blood>. pictures, <laughs> and, taking pictures in front of the threshers, and being like, mm-hmm. the CEO yeah. stopped by today to make sure everything was just going like smoothly. A, a picture of like Caleb holding a guy by like his shirt collar and his jeans throwing a guy into like a <laughs> yeah. just smiling yeah. yeah and then a picture comes out of you on safari and you killed a hippo and then and everyone, then everyone gets mad <laughs> Dude, I, I cannot I mean, believe <clears throat> i'd be the most evil guy of all time oh yeah, my god i can't like, believe that dr genocide killed a lion this is <laughs> so and I, I would, de- yeah, I mean, that would, that would be why I wouldn't get in any trouble, because I wouldn't pick a kind of person. I would just kill anybody. Yeah. yeah. Like, I it wouldn't matter what they look it. like. Yeah. I'd just fucking kill. I would kill people on the street for no reason at all. Well, if you throw yeah. a pile of money on them after they're... <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, 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 no. Yeah. I paid him to do this. Here's what I would do. I'd pay for the funeral. Oh, okay. That would be my move. And yeah. people would be like, well, we can't be mad. Well, what if you own a funeral home, and that's like, you own like a chain of funeral homes? I own a funeral home, and I and I kill people there. Yeah. That now, what would you Imagine if, you, if you're like an inventor, right? Mm-hmm. And you invent I a, am. a brand new, no, you're not, not for this thing, okay? Because wait, this. you're going to be, you're going to be, invented. okay, but you're going to be in this, so What's just that? hang on for a second. my fingers. That's a terrible invention, not an invention. Wait, no. Invented, you, let me talk. Let me say this, okay? Cross. Imagine you're. What would you if you're a you are an inventor you and you just invented a, a more efficient shredder for paper, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you get a knock on your door, and Caleb comes in, and he's wearing an evil tuxedo <clears throat> with <clears throat> pointed shoulders, Hello. like a JRPG boss. Yeah. And. And he says, "Hi, I'd like to buy your patent for your shredder. By the way, can you make it giant?" Would you say yes or no? I would say yeah. yes. Well, how much? Well, you're how not. Much? That would help me out. Caleb, you're, well, you're, you're already. You, you wouldn't you say yes because this. it wouldn't make. You're the one asking the question. What if well, I'm you playing could say both yes, characters? Then, you like could Eddie say Murphy. yes, but then the guy would just be like, "What are you? Why are you saying yes?" Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, say, I <laughs> will. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's you're another. That would be another one of the evil things I would do. Yes, that'd be another one of the evil things I do as a rich guy. Is I would just talk for people. Yeah. Yeah, and then I'd be like, "Well, they said it." I do ventriloquism. That's pretty evil. <laughs> it's kind of, I mean, it's evil control that you take yeah. over somebody. Yeah, yeah, you're you're uh, you're like making people think. Huh? Pat has been frozen. Oh, Patrick, you're froze. making people. You're making people think that a puppet is talking. You're tricking people. Pat, are you back? Hey, <laughs> what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, are you there? Yeah. Okay, you you just cut out for a second. Oh, I did. Yeah. No, I, didn't. I would basically run. I would. I would do like a. I would do like a, 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 a magic eight ball like every morning for like a different like small town that I would just fucking wipe out. Yeah. Just, yeah. With like something really fucked up, like maybe like a monster truck. Yeah. And that's like what I would do is I just like run over shit with a monster truck. I'd kill anything. You could too. have like a dartboard that looks <clears throat> like the Earth and like where a dart hits, like maybe. It blows up or something. Yeah, I just go. I just bring like a flamethrower and just start fucking lighting California on fire. Mm-hmm. That's like what I would do during the summer. Yeah, during the well, winter, I mean, I'd probably it, it like wouldn't, fuck a penguin. It wouldn't take much to like set a wildfire in California. Uh, well, I'm gonna bring them much. Tell you that okay. much. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna overdo everything, dude. I'm gonna yeah. replace water You're not just with gonna gasoline. Smoke a cigarette in the woods. No, dude. I'm gonna smoke. Did a, you? Did you huh? ever? When you were like. 14 well did you, caleb you, you smoked cigs when you were like 15 right no no i was Am not I the only I was one not a cig smoker until like college uh well yeah, i why? i used to get really scared that like i would steal like my mom's cigarettes and then go into the woods and then i would put them out like in the woods but then i would get really scared that like a forest would, fire like, start would start a fire, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's fair. That's, right? a, yeah, that's, a, I mean, that's, that's a good that's, instinct to have. That's how they yeah. happen. See, that's, that's the kind of common... instinct that I would just completely lose if I got, I don't know, $10,000. <laughs> that's a common teenage smoker fear, starting a forest fire. 
You guys are telling me you wouldn't become supervillains? I wouldn't become I a supervillain. I'd become a be, superhero. I wouldn't even become su- supervillains. Always want like like fucking like I would recycling not, you know, to happen I would or not, some gay shit. I, I would just do something murder. like that. I would do something like that, but I would do it on a much smaller scale. I wouldn't be. I would be like. I would be like one of those rich people who just kind of like doesn't have a job and just lives in a big house. I'd be but, the like, most. It is evil. anybody who crosses my path, I will kill. I'd be but the I'm not going to go out of my way, you know. If if I see like the uh, somebody walking down the street that my house is on, they're dead. But nice, you know, that's, just kind of like a Bermuda Triangle, but just for my line of sight. That's pretty good too. <laughs> the I'd most be like, evil. I'd, like I'd be the most human evil hair. subway manager of all time. <laughs> if you were rich, <laughs> just mm-hmm. running a really horrible subway. Yep. Yeah. Just buying I would a schedule franchise. people on their birthday, yeah. but also <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> Replacing all the meat with meat mm-hmm. that looks exactly the same, but it's like made plastic. out of poopers plastic yeah. Or, or something. Like, yeah, you make a, you make the you always yeah. make the meatball sub out of the the tuna and sandwich. And you just you have enough money to make any negative review shit. disappear. Like the yeah. CEO can't even come visit. Like you're just oh, completely. Man. You, you I buy, would make people you come in the on their copyright. day off. You buy the copyright for Subway, so you <clears> have a Subway restaurant that's technically not part of the chain, so you can do whatever you want. Exactly, that's the trick. Try and blackmail the Subway CEO with the Jared Fogel info, even yep. though it's already public. It's like, oh, well, if you try to shut me down, I'll Your let Your something... employee did this. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Let, I'll, I'll let my, my, my uh, loose lips sink ships. I'll say that much. That's right. You made all this public. Now I can destroy you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually took a pretty big hit already. I don't know why you're trying to bring this back up. Yeah, I would destroy them. All right, mm-hmm. cowboy yeah. insults on best dash insults dot com slash cowboy dash insults slash. Yeah. Check it out. You know we I, don't know, usually also, give out the link, but uh, I have this to one say is a good this link. is such a simple. This one, one mm-hmm. we were we asked you guys to get a lot of hype going for this one, and I have to say I saw absolutely zero. Yep, I think you guys did a horrible um, job that? with doing. I'm what very. We asked. I'm. I. I don't say this often, <clears throat> and I like you. I. I've probably. I'm probably the nicest one on the show. Um, but I'm extremely disappointed in every yeah. single one of you. I, and I say this very often, but you guys are subhuman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, uh, I I would never say that, but right now mm. I'm I'm thinking it. What's this? The if fans I ever, being absolute dog shit. Yeah, it must be a day that ends in why. Mm-hmm. If I if I ever saw any of you guys in real life, like if you came up to me or anything, I would treat you like a dog with its leg stuck in a bear trap. I would execute you on the spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be, because of town. this, and and you would know why. You wouldn't mm-hmm. know why we were doing it, and it's because you didn't do enough. You know, and w- as you're bleeding out, I'm going to look into your eyes, and I'm going to say, Ugh, your mustache has the smell a mildewed saddle blanket would have if it rides 300 miles in August on the back of a sore horse. Oh, That's right. shit! Mm-hmm. <laughs> this no. is, these are all things we would say to you Dude. now, because you didn't do what we told you. Wait, let me do the yeah. intro. Yeah, read the intro. Cowboys are usually known to have heavy cuss words. <laughs> So if you are going against a cowboy, it is best to have your game up so you would not land a pratfall while lashing out at your opponent. I am here to help you get back at your cowboy rivals. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut hard, harsh, and deep at cowboys using these simple and yet classy insults on them, and they are going to remember it forever because of how deep they were cut. That's right. Wow. That's really nice they of them to never compile these. these. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's just a useful resource for people, you know? Because, like, how often do you go up against a cowboy? One or two times a week, right? Depending mm-hmm. on yeah. what part of the country you live in. Exactly. I mean, if you're in Arizona or mm-hmm. New Mexico, I mean, it's probably like three or four times you, a month. Yeah. Some, and yeah. New York, once a day. Mm-hmm. Easy, dude. And he's naked, too. <laughs> it's <laughs> in Times Square. Yep. <laughs> I'm always having to battle that naked oh cowboy. My God. Dude, I'm so I, sick. Put on some fucking clothes. Yeah, you vomit, hey! dude. The guy, the guy dressed Chaps, as at least the guy dressed as Woody from Toy Story that that stands on on um stands out on Hollywood Boulevard is gonna is gonna feel my wrath. Yeah, I'm gonna catch ones. him lacking. He is he is an op, and he yeah. will be caught lacking by me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So Cam already did number one. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going, dude. Mm-hmm. All right. Ready. Here, I need somebody to fucking... I, I, just think about the fans. <sighs> Damn it, you're ugly as a burnt boot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what that's what Caleb would say to you. Yeah, so don't fuck with me. That's mm-hmm. kind of the... And that's ugly. 
That's what I'm. Yeah. I would love for like a, one of those like like a celebrity scandal where like somebody was mean to their wife or whatever, and they, they <laughs> leak all the text messages, and it's this shit. <laughs> You're as ugly as a bird. <laughs> Yeah, John Wayne's text messages to his <laughs> mistress have been leaked. You're ugly as a burnt boot. <laughs> that is a cowboy's least favorite thing, too, a burnt yeah. boot. That's it pretty bad. Yeah, it's, it doesn't doesn't uh, feel good on your yeah. foot, dude. Cowboys yeah. like raw boots. Here's they a like the raw boot. Here's another, here's another insult here. You will have to chew the water before you can swallow it because it is too thick. However, it darn good. Follow this <laughs> with making an ugly face. <laughs> what? <laughs> However, it darn good. This is more of a, an insult towards whatever water. Probably a horse. <laughs> yeah, probably a horse that you led. That might be a to good water. Point. But but Wha- no, then it's saying the water is good. It's I like they say you have to chew but you the have water. To follow it by making an ugly face. The problem is not well. They're saying you have to chew the water. But the water's good. Like it's the problem's not with the water; it's you. Yeah. Why is why do you have to chew the water? Because it is too thick. Mm-hmm. Why are <laughs> where are you getting this thick water from, dude? The the H three O thicket. You are drinking yeah. thicket? Is that like a cowboy? The cowboys come up with thicket. Well, they're constantly falling. It's cowboy bushes. mio. Good point. <laughs> cowboy mio just thickens yeah, up the they water. T- t- tobacco it. mio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's actually pretty. This one's pretty fire, dude. Yeah, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure your family tree was definitely a shrub. Wow, that's right. Whatever, yeah. whatever that means. I'm pretty sure shrubs. Yeah. Have you got a small many. family, pal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that old. You don't have that many ancestors. <laughs> You're just a you're a new kind of person, you're, you're, and you only started yep, a couple of decades just, ago. You got parents, and you got grandparents, and it ends there somehow. Yep, they <laughs> never <laughs> had anybody past that. Yeah, your grandparents were orphans. Yep. <laughs> grandparents yeah, dropped off by the store. Nobody had no brothers nor sisters, neither. <laughs> Your family tree's just a single V. Basically like five guys. <laughs> and that was your family tree. You low down son of a bitch. Um, here's another one. Well, when you want to unload and clean your gun, he ain't any fit to suit at. Forget it, man. That seems like it's a line from a movie. <laughs> it's like an MF Doom rap. Yeah, mm. it rhymes too. Hey, Caleb. What? There's definitely nothing under your hat except hair. Uh, hey, this guy doesn't have a hat or me? hair. I, I have neither. What do mm-hmm. I have then? Headphones. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's fucking right, <laughs> dude. Uh, a hog knows more about a hip pocket in a bathing suit than you know about anything. <laughs> There's a lot of hog inserts, too, back-to-back. Back. Basically, a hog was the stupidest thing you could be back then. Yeah. You know and way they, less than a, a hog hip, knows a, a side saddle. And a pocket in a bathing suit is something so obvious. Something that everybody would, knows about. Even a hog you think would know about it, but yeah. nope. No. This, I mean, that's it really was just like, that was the that was the dumbest guy that you knew was an actual fucking mm. hog back then. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. used to hang out with hogs. That was your, your, your like, stupidest yeah. friend I mean, the town, ta- like... Towns back then were like fifteen people, so it's like it's a, you can only go so long before you have to like be like, well, I need a new friend group. I might as well hang out with like this guy's hogs. Yeah, God everybody forbid. had that that one hog from their hometown. God forbid your last name was Hog. That would have been really really bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because back then, whatever your last name is, that's what you are. Yeah, you know, with like you know Cooper, they make barrels or whatever. Smith, they're blacksmith. Hog, you're a hog. Mm-hmm. Such a good point. I know. <laughs> You're such a fucking we're cowboy tra- genius we're, right we're now. Changing. We're we're moving to a podcast where we make points now. Mm-hmm. Just so you yeah. guys know, that's, that's right. right. We're, yeah, we're moving away truth from truth bombs. Jokes. Yeah. This is more podcast about, about truth. Not even necessarily truth bomb. Just kind of stuff you hear and you go, hmm. And that is a interesting, yeah, intriguing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're here to intrigue a, more than entertain. Nowadays. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know way less than a hog knows a side saddle. Okay, so that's kind of repeating the same same yeah, thing and as I earlier. Think, I don't I know if I love that. that. A hog, I read that one. 
You, hmm? I read that one while you guys were talking, and I didn't realize. <laughs> what? I'm confused by what you're trying to say right now. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, you're basically acting a hog right now. Oh, no. A hog boy, probably, acting a hog. You could pro- a hog probably knows about a side saddle. Yeah. A hog, hogs are actually... Here's the fucked up part, dude. A hog is so much smarter than a dog or a frog. He's one mm-hmm. of the smartest hog animals. Absolutely. And, and they, they're they pretending like hogs know nothing. Hogs actually have an extreme emotional intelligence. They're, True. They're, I think, comparable in, in like intelligence-wise to like a, a two- or three-year-old human being. Absolutely. And that's intriguing. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know why they keep... Because they can speak. They can here's, say like, here's, here's, you know point. what? I'm going to re- I'll rewrite this one. I would say okay? Hogs is punching down in a huge I, way. Here's what I'm going to say. I say we rewrite this insult It's and to be like this, okay? You know, you know way less than a stupid person knows about knowledge. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Because that makes more sense. sense. I could see well, a cowboy saying now we that. Also, now we kind of have a framework that on which you could lay almost anything to make a cowboy insult. <laughs> Absolutely. Which is, you know less than X about w- that does not know about Y, mm-hmm. knows about Y. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and X, X and Y. And y. <laughs> X and you know y. what I mean? Yeah. So you could say, like, you know, you know. And I mean, if you're, list- if you're looking for something fascinating, X and Y, those are also used in algebra. Yep. Yeah, and so now we're kind this of like turning into a language. mathematical formula <laughs> yeah. about how to make a cowboy insult. You yeah. know, you could you could do. I mean, like, all right, let's co- You could say you you know you know uh, less you know less than a about anything than a chair knows about standing up. Right. Like yeah. they, there's one. You know. Yeah. I mean, you can just keep you can just look around. You know less right. about you, anything than guacamole knows <laughs> about being red. <laughs> Oh, that's you could, it's good. one of those. You can just kind of look around, look what's that. around you, and kind of just make it mm-hmm. from there. Like, like you could do, like you know, you know less than a hat knows about water bottle. Yeah, yeah. it's easy. Yeah. You know less about than a French fry knows it's knows what day of the week it is. Fucking idiot <laughs> ass cowboy. See, that's you, actually another thing. If you add at the end, you like, add fucking, fucking idiot ass, ass cowboy, idiot that, ass bust mm, ass wor- cowboy <laughs> with the fucking fifi haircut. <laughs> Get a line up. <laughs> Come correct when you popping off at the saloon. My yeah. boy at the saloon tonight, spinning all night long. Come through. You know way less than uh, Michael knows about David. <laughs> Just two guys in the room. <laughs> yeah, see if you know if those are two guys that don't know each other and they're in the room, that works too. And Michael yeah. beat David. <laughs> <laughs> See, and they already know more about each other than you know about anything, so that's kind of the point I was making as in this cowboy voice. Look, they're fast you, friends. Look at them. Look, I mean, yeah. they're already exchanging numbers. <laughs> you know less than Superman knows about Spider-Man. They're from different superhero universes. Exactly. That's a, yeah. They, yeah. See, that's they it. don't I know mean, about each other. Pretty much anything. You you can follow along at home. You can do your own sort of Mad Libs uh, thing. That we got going on, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, but don't mad, don't uh, tell them to us because we're mad at you. Yep. Yeah, because we're also pissed about the lack of. Yeah, hype we're still the episode, we're still so. so mad at you. Yeah, I am. I I forgive. I'll, I'll I forgive, forgive you. I'll forgive you in a week. But until then, if you hype up the next episode <laughs> to the point that we want. Yep. All right. Here's another one. Yeah. Forget him. I just realized that he could not even drive nails into a snowbank. I just realized this. <laughs> yeah. You know, forget that guy. You know what I just realized <laughs> randomly right now? Like right now? It, it couldn't I, even put a nail in us in snow. I just realized it's a good way I to start an insult because it, it, it misdirects you. Right. Yeah. You don't you don't expect an insult to come after yeah, I just realized. Yeah, you expect a fact or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You, you expect them to just be like, I just realized I don't like this guy or something like that. I just like realized that. I left the, the fire on back at home. I just realized that a fire truck ain't blue, and this guy knows less about what a fire truck could know about setting a fire. Yep. <laughs> and the cowboy, I mean, that's like some Cowboys fucking... like opposites. That's something when it comes to that's cowboy true, insults. Yeah. It's true. Let's For see. example, I am pretty certain that you cannot tell wild honey from dung. Which that's is great on a one. blind guy. Mm-hmm. That's like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like if you're battling a blind cowboy, that's also that good if there's someone good. nearby who has like really 
viscous, like clear-ish, like yellow poop. For example, yeah. a bee. A bee is a good yeah. example. Yeah, of honey that. is just bee poop. Yeah, <laughs> so really they're not true. that different. So that, yeah, you know, that's cowboy also, is kind of very showing his lack of uh, of uh, uh, scientific knowledge. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I like this next one a lot. <laughs> your face is as puckered as wet sheepskin would be in front of a hot fire. Bite that. See, this introduces a catchphrase <laughs> element yeah. where at the end you would just say, bite that. Bite that that's is a good... Danny. That's a really good catchphrase. I think that's so. It, yeah. That's biting Danny McClintock. You don't want to... <laughs> I'm telling you, you don't want to fucking... You don't want to mess with that You don't want to enter a, 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 a word duel with him. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what they called rap battles back then. Yeah. Yeah. He, but back walk, then, you back then a rap pieces, battle... Yeah, you would both be the first at the same time. And then... Ra- <laughs> yeah. Well, me as the judge, I couldn't quite make out what either one of them was saying. Because <laughs> they said them at just about the same time. But so I'm going to call it, this one yet another draw. That's our 20th in a row. <laughs> Here's a well, really... I couldn't tell exactly what they were rapping, but seeing as Slim's dead and old Joe's still staying <laughs> with the smoking gun, I'd have to say he won. <laughs> this next one is, is really, really something. A popcorn on fire has more calm than you would ever have. <laughs> wow. I mean, before Going the right invention... for the throat. I mean, yeah. fuck. Before the invention of the microwave, I mean... I guess you did just throw popcorn on fire, huh? Yeah. yeah. Also, I mean, telling a cowboy that he's not calm. Right? Yeah. That's, yeah, you got shaky oof. hands, partner. Yeah. Oh, that, that, I guess that makes sense. You're freaking yeah. out. You're bugging. You suffer from anxiety. <laughs> anxiety. We have a support group if you want to. <laughs> if you'd like to mosey on up there. Here's one. We meet every weekend. You are... E- you are, was so, <laughs> you are so ugly that you could back a buzzard right off a gut wagon. What's a gut What's wagon? A wagon full Patrick. of guts. Oh, oh, shit. It is a wagon full of guts. Rephrase that into a cowboy insult right now, because I'm not accepting a regular insult. Your okay. gut's just about a gut wagon's worth of waste, you no good wh- whoppy willow. <laughs> <laughs> Retry that. You're just about as fat as a hog's ha- handbag, you you hairy hom- homo. <laughs> Rephrase that again. Your your gut must need wheels no, to be a Cameron, wagon. You can't, you, no, I'm just throwing an idea. You're a here. milfy Mario Mexi- <laughs> Mexican. You misty Meyer. All right. You know what? It's pretty good. I, I like the alliteration in that one. I I'm think that's a big it. thing with cowboy insults too. Is yeah. alliteration. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Like for this one, here has some good alliteration. Um, Even if you had as many as three throws, that's the alliteration, mm-hmm. you cannot hit the ground with your hat. Wow. What does that mean? <laughs> means you can't it's, hoop, dude. No, it means oh. that you have an infinite throw. <laughs> this guy can't hit three throws. You could throw the hat out of orbit right away. True. This guy, <laughs> Every time. It means you have a, you have a, you have a, a zero gravity hat. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, and it just keeps on flying, dude. Yeah, that, uh, you know what it means? It means you live in space. <clears throat> no ground. Space cowboy? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh. my God. They should make Ooh. a TV show uh, out of that. Mm-hmm. This next and one's good. You know the what? Next it one... means jazz. <laughs> this next one is good. The one after that, I think, is my favorite one so far. Mm-hmm. Me too. This next one is, uh, <laughs> you, you, you have to sneak up on a dipper just to get a drink of water, only because of your ugliness. <laughs> Why do you have to sneak up What's on a the dip? dipper? Because you're so like ugly. a spoon. I think a dipper is like a well type thing. Oh, like okay. You, oh, yeah. The yeah, and you have to sneak up on it because it would run away because you're ugly. Mm-hmm. Pat, this, re- read this next one for us. All right. I think you're gonna one, like this. The one best one, one so far. Yeah. You are so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Just giving up, dude. Yeah. Come on. That's it. I mean, how how. How is that going to be effective towards a, a cold-blooded cow cowpoke? Yeah, that's a comeback, is what that yeah, is. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. that's a finisher. Yeah, roasted. You just, are so just mean. destroyed. Bodied. Here we have a we have another set of two here. These next two kind of go together. I feel like. Okay. Um, I am sure you would give the rattler the first bite if you were in a fight with it. <laughs> okay. 
The Rattler is just a guy that lived in the town. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy he ran around with two maracas, and and then the other one, kind of kind of copying that one, is you are so mean that you could dine in the same dish with a snake. <laughs> See, that also just says you are so mean at the beginning. Right. <laughs> Why a cowboy's supposed to be mean, dude? Yeah, I don't get this angle. Well, well that's I what. Guess... I, well, that's the kind of insult that doesn't hurt them. Like. On the surface, but they go home and they think about that around the fire. Yeah. Maybe maybe I need to change my ways. <laughs> maybe I'm just a mean guy. Yeah. Fuck, maybe I, I should change. just be a hog. <laughs> Here's a. You should be hired as a scarecrow's in farms. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one's pretty good. That is Multiple good, scarecrows? Yeah, because yeah, you're yeah. so fat. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, you're okay. so fat that you you could be multiple scarecrows in multiple in farms. farms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, farms that's how across, fucking fat you are across the state from each you other. You could be just just stretch so wide you you cover farms from sea to shining sea. Yeah. There's you so many of you ass. that you could be multiple scarecrows. <laughs> uh, this is another kind of simple, short, sweet one. Mm-hmm. You are crooked. <laughs> I really like this next one, too. Another crooked one. Yeah. With how crooked you are, you could swallow nails and spit corkscrews. Erwa. <laughs> That's what they used to say. It's old English for you. Yeah, yeah it's an E-R-W R in the w at the end yeah. of that one. <laughs> he had a nerve to say the beans was deceitful because they would talk behind your back. Fuck, I hate the beans. <laughs> Who are the beans? Fuck, dude, the beans, you know the beans. Because the beans make you fart, dude. They, you talk behind your oh, back. Okay. The beans okay. is the powers that be. <laughs> Here, the next the next one is, is also bean-themed. Okay. <laughs> Even a beans would be more modest and honest than you. <laughs> God damn it, I hate the beans. The, oh, even, man. Ugh, a beans. Fuck, dude. Not a beans. Dude, when you're a ca- when you're cowboy fucking making your, doing your beat, and you see the beans, dude. <laughs> Fucking six shots straight to That's the beans. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, on sight it. when I see mm-hmm. the beans. <laughs> that cowboy moved with the beans. Yeah. The next Fuck. one is really good. It is good. You gonna read it? Well, you're the one who said it. Why would I, I read, read the it? Go to one. hell you with said- your shenanigans. See, this is like if you know a uh, prankster cowboy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You Man, like, that was a big problem back in the day. Stop putting snakes in my peanut brittle. <laughs> <laughs> To hell with your shenanigans. Yeah. That was actually that was, a really big problem. I know that you're... They put snakes in anything, dude. Absolutely. I know that your finger's not really coming off. I know that that's just your thumb. <laughs> I know that pencil ain't made of rubber. <laughs> Quit your shenanigans. And go to you, hell. You don't go have my nose. <laughs> my, my nose stands square on my face. <laughs> I could smell you from a mile away. Yeah, okay, this one, next one. Um. <clears> Hoy, <throat> everyone, little, say the person's name, is as shy of brains just as much as a buffalo would with feathers. <laughs> so true. Ooh. This is kind of back to the other, the formula we developed. Also, mm-hmm. bu- I but, mean, a buffalo could have feathers. I don't, yeah, I don't they got know wings. I've ever seen. Yeah, ex- yeah. Yo! Exactly. Yo! That's some real shit. Facts. Cameron spitting facts. Facts once again from Cam Dog. I don't uh, know what this next one means. Sh- shame on you, you! I bet you could not even track a bed wagon. <laughs> it's a wagon for beds. I guess it's a wagon that's very easy to track. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, it's probably a wagon that's like painted red. What is this next one? <laughs> Just as a terrapin is of feathers, you are as shy of brains. Back to the feathers. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, yeah, and a terrapin sense. now. Yeah. Okay. Terrapin is a station. It's a turtle. They, no. they they once needed to throw a diamond hitch just to keep him in the saddle. Yeah, that is how fat he is. <laughs> that one includes a second line that you can turn and say if there's someone standing next to you. Yeah, yeah which the other insults don't usually do. So yeah. that's nice. Which is true. You'd have a, if you have your deputy with you. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So you could say the insult and then you can turn and say, yeah. "That's because he's stupid." Yeah, that's because of how fat he is. That's why I said all that crap. That's why I'm being Here mean. in the Wild West. That's why I'm being mean to him. Yeah. 
even molasses would not run down your <laughs> legs because of your laziness. <laughs> it just stick in your butt. That's the molasses that's lazy, not you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, exactly. Here's one. How, how lazy is this fucking molasses? The way you grit your teeth, one would think that you are capable to biting sights off a six gun. Oh, I thought it was... Uh, and then the, the deputy way... would be like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's because of how the yeah. way he grits his teeth. He's got bad <laughs> teeth or some. He I don't know, his I don't know what sleep. the insult is supposed to be saying here. Honestly, these cowboy insults are kind of bad. There's a, I, I just moved to the Wild West, and I don't quite understand these yet. <laughs> I'm from Maine. <laughs> so I, I, <laughs> I just realized that the ones we were all just reading are under the heading, The Best Cowboy Insults. So those oh. are all the best ones. And then there's a second heading that's even more cowboy insults. So, these so are those just... were all the good ones. These mm-hmm. ones... Yeah, of course they were. ...are not as good. So these are the, the kind of medium cowboy insults. All right. Yeah. These are a little more poetic... Yeah, yeah. it's a little more is, situational. Uh, too. You know what? Yeah. I think I kind of like the, the from just looking at these ones. I think I kind of like these ones better. These are the br- the, the British them, villain who lives in the West for some reason and is like mm-hmm. an oil baron. He was yeah. like, "Why are you not as crooked as the snake would be in a cactus path?" <laughs> See, that it, makes sense. Yeah. Would it shock you to realize that your brain cavity would not make a drinking cup for canary birds? I bet it would not, because you already know. Ha ha. That's actually crazy how much better that works. <laughs> I know. These ones are good. All right. These are good in that voice. I yeah. would bet your cows reason better than you. <laughs> See, these are words these that a are... cowboy would just never fucking use. Right, dude. absolutely. Reason... But- Ca- brain cavity? Yeah. Right. No way, dude. Cowboys are stupid. With how you think, I fear your cows control you. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. I fear your cows control you. <laughs> Is it me, or does someone moo around here? <laughs> okay, so whoever... Wait, these are all cows. <laughs> it is no surprising if you have behaved like cows. You eat and sleep with them. <laughs> the, next the, next one, one. the next one they accidentally included. They, they were just hanging out with a guy in a huge like field full of cows, and they were just writing down everything he said, and they accidentally <laughs> wrote this one down instead of an insult. Whoa, careful. A cow is passing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these are these are way better. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, really good. These are scary. All right, I'm gonna try one in a cowboy accent. I do think we need to at least try to do one in a cowboy accent. Mm-hmm. I'm sure your cows reduced in number by one. Return to them. See, okay, okay. Now, well, now let's compare it. Right? It's okay. Yeah. Okay. Now do it and down do it in the in the. I am sure your cows reduced in number by one. Return to them. See. Okay. Now I'm confused. Maybe try Jamaican. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. I am, I am sure your cows reduced the number by one. Return to them. See, and like yeah. this next one mentions evolution. A cowboy. Yeah, a cowboy can't yeah. do this one. Cowboy has never heard of evolution. This and could if also he did, be. He wouldn't believe it. This could. You could also do these a nerd. Like you could do it like this. Yeah. Oh, um, true. Whoever thought evolution could not go the other way around just needs to meet you and think otherwise. Damn. The other way around. So you went this. You, that's if you're talking to like a newt, <laughs> you know. Yeah, if you're talking to an amoeba or Some something. Like, that's yeah, some really very good. A, a very like simple kind of uh, water based creature. Yeah, you call it, you could say that one too. Mm-hmm. You say it wrapped all the way so, back yeah, around. Listen, you went guys, all the way to <laughs> alien, and then you came back around. If you're a nerd and you and you're talking to a water creature, just keep that one in the back of your mm-hmm. head. That's the I wonder best if they have nerd insults it. on this website. That we'll might have to come one. back to this website. Yeah, this is the so best stuff insults. On here. I mean, who would have thought? Come on, we got to finish it out here. What's All right. Let's Cows must think you are stupid. <laughs> I can see a cowboy saying that one, though. That's yeah. true. Cows must think you're stupid. That is good. Yeah, that works Someone way. baths in dung. <laughs> <laughs> it is baths. It's not bath. Yeah, it's, it's, it's baths. baths. <laughs> Someone will be bathing in dung. Is it me, it, or does it smell like cows around here? <laughs> yeah, they, they did. 
<laughs> they were Something hanging. is totally <laughs> cow. <laughs> they were hanging out with a British guy who was seeing cows for the He's first like, time. Hey, That's what... you're a you're a cowboy, right? <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, yes, I love cows. Good, because I have this assignment for WordPress, and I need to <laughs> fucking finish it. Hi, I'm a I'm a blogger. I work for WordPress.com. Uh, just want to get some cowboy insults out of you. You, you said yeah. cow insults, yes? <laughs> yeah, cowboy insults. Yeah. Your yeah. utters are sh- uh, as short as can be. <laughs> Yeah, that works. That's a cowboy insult. We'll take that. Yeah, one of those. Yeah, one of no, those, it's like a boy cow. One of those 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 um, BuzzFeed videos that's like um, like Pakistani tribesmen try monster energy for the first time, but it's like yeah. British fop sees a cow for the first time and he's just sitting there. He just thinks <laughs> it's a guy. They're going. <laughs> Even your cows ma- wonder how you managed to own them <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> this last one is the same as the the one you just read. No, it's not. I bet your cows control themselves. Yeah, that's like that's a good one same. though. That's just that's kind of I would say that's more of a of a compliment. That's like yeah. saying you have smart cows. Your cows are so smart and you've well raised behaved. some of the smartest cows. You asshole. You don't want smart cows. And then you turn cowboy. around and talk to your deputy. Yeah, I said that because you had smart cows. <laughs> and everybody goes, yeah, good, right, dog, good work, boss. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. one, boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, back to dirt farming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of cowboy insults. Yeah. Um. Again, we're bummed out that there was no hype, but uh, yeah, and it's all you're your gonna fault. eat your words um, when you listen to this one. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. That's Absolutely, right. fuck you. Bye. 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 Hi, this is Cameron on my shitty uh, headphone mic. I found the Squirtoon thing, so I'm putting it at the end. Fuck you. Too late now. Uh, you yeah, look you'd... like Chuck E. Cheese when you laugh, dude. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. squirt on you. <laughs> You're gonna get squirted on. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna... fucking squirting. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just... squirting Sam Elliott. My, I'm my gonna new squirt schedule on you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh fuck, I'm about to oh, squirt. Fuck. God damn, I'm about you pretty see, close to two, squirting. Two types of people in this world. There's them that squirts and them that get squirted. Do you have a target? Do you have a target for me to squirt on? <laughs> oh, so I can oh, squirt hello. 300 I, yards out. I reckon Bullseye. I must be your new neighbor. I wanted to know if you wanted to see me squirt in your front yard, because I'm going to be doing it for about 15 minutes. Now, I reckon I left an old squirter, squirtoon. <laughs> squirtoon. <laughs> Work too. Dude, I, I like you, walk into the saloon, you bust open the double saloon doors, you cock your leg, and you squirt directly into a bucket. Well, yeah. Piers, I done ruined your squirt tune here. Take this $3 bill, go buy you a new one. <laughs> Good, about cover it. Fuck. No, uh, is, I think I think I left my squirtoon in your house. Hey, hey Susie, hey, this uh, is awkward. But I was over hey. for dinner a couple nights ago. You made the Trader Joe's soyaki chicken. Yeah, I think I maybe left my squirtoon <laughs> there in in the powder room. You wouldn't mind yeah, mailing uh, it back. Yeah, I reckon I'm your new neighbor. I was actually, before you guys moved in, I was using your apartment for target practice, and I think I left <laughs> a stray squirtoon on your wall. If I don't know if you got rid of it or anything. I rustled through your dumpster for a while, but all I found were snacks. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>